Oh, I gotta change the colors of the lights. Shit. I forgot I was doing that. What color do we go? Chat. <laughs> Let's go with pure blue. I think that's a good choice. I'm just gonna freaking record the video now. I'm talking about the Mako right now and why the V1 Mako is better than the 4.5 Mako. Um, as you can see, right here, I have my V1 Mako. It's in very good condition. I did not get this new from Squid, but got it basically new, secondhand, on uh, the Instagram Balasong market, which is very nice. And this is genuinely one of, if not my favorite Balasong in my collection, just because of how historic it is and how it flips and everything. It's just all around a very nice ballad song. I've always had an attachment to the Mako with the cute shark blade and the low price point. <laughs> so yeah, definitely owning a V1 Mako, having a piece of ballad song history is a very cool experience. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about why. This is day six of Desuko Daily Uploads, talking about the Mako. So, uh, now that you've seen my V1 Mako, I'm gonna show off my other Makos, plural, because I actually have currently four Makos. Here we got the Halloween edition V4.5. I actually swapped the blades on my normal Mako and my Halloween one just because I think the colors look a bit better. And over here on my desk, I have the horrendously beat to shit, as the kids say it, V2 Tang Pin Mako that, as you can hear, is... It, it's having a great time. It doesn't have washers in it. I took it apart one day, uh, that day being two days ago, and I lost the washers. So for now, <laughs> I do not have washers in the Mako V2. The blade is bent because it's not hardened, uh, just like all the Makos, and it, yeah, bent blade is not good, um, but it's sandwich, so it has that over the new ones. <laughs> Mako 4.5, anyways, this was, this is the newest version of the Mako that came after the Mako V4, um, where they just moved these gills up a bit and added a little cutout in the channel so that the fin of the shark would stop literally shattering people's handles and snapping them in half, which is, you know, pretty good change to have. Um, the Mako has always had kind of like durability issues, the channel Mako. I mean, not the sandwich one, because it's better. Um, but yeah, this is Squid's, Squid's uh, attempt at fixing that, which I think so far has worked out. It still does not have the hardened blade, though, so I've seen my fair share of uh, completely bent, twisted, spaghettiified shark ballast songs, which is unfortunate to see because of how cute this blade is. Um, yeah, I just think that the V1 flips better, though. Like, this sandwich gives it so much more momentum. It feels smaller, which I like. It, 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 even though it doesn't have the gill cut- I'm dropping Makos all over my floor. <laughs> um, even though it doesn't have the gill cutouts that the Mako V4 and up have, it honestly has more grip than it just because it's sandwich and it has the, you know, giant built-in speed channels on each side of the handles. Um... Like, it makes it so much better, even though it doesn't have jimping for stuff like choker fans, because you can grip on the outside of it, whereas on the original one, it's just kind of like... Or not on the original one, on the on the new ones. You can still do them pretty well, but it's just way more slippery and feels more likely to slip out of your hands, which is unfortunate. They still have the same design with the little weight pins in the bottom, and, uh... uh Zen, Zen pins. I just forgot what Zen pins are called. Um, although they did do Tang pins at one point in their lifetime, which was a bit of a, 
of a quirky decision because it honestly is kind of like bad. <laughs> Tang Pin Mako is not the best. I have yet to try the V3 Mako, which from what I have heard is actually the best like flipping Mako. It has the bottle opener, it has the sandwich handles, it's just like a more kind of refined version of the V1. So I would like to try a V3 Mako at some point, but they are desirable and hard to come by, so I have not witnessed one yet, unfortunately. Um, barrel spacers on the V1 Mako look freaking beautiful. Oh my god, they're so cool. It looks considerably better than the G10 spacers, in my opinion, that the, uh, that the V2 had. It, it just sandwich, it leads for so much, like, cooler designs, I feel. Just because of all the different options you have with spacers and, like, handle shape and stuff. It, it, it's just better. Sandwich is cool. Um, I, I guess I kind of discussed this in one of my other videos, but, like, kind of the, re the return to sandwich that we're seeing in the Balasan community with, like, cheaper stuff like the Orion is just wonderful to see. I really hope at some point, Squid, please, I'm begging you, I really hope that at some point we see a Sandwich Mako or a Sandwich Balasong like the Mako make its return because it flips fast, it flips smooth. Even though this thing is on washers and, like, multiple years old at this point, considering it was from the, like, first batch of V1 Makos, it still, when it's tuned, holds tolerances pretty well and still has wonderful swing. Sandwich Mako is my favorite Mako. That's about all I have to say for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you ch check out the other Desuko Daily Uploads and check in tomorrow for the final installment of Desuko Daily Upload Week. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on the Mako. I guess on the Makos, plural. At one point, I had five Makos in my possession because I was uh, giving away one on Instagram. There we go. There's a good thumbnail picture. Got all the all the sharks lined up. Okay, bye. <laughs>